Hey everybody, this is a video that I want to do real quick to test the Fort Scott 10mm uh, ammo up against level 2 and level 3 body armor. These vests right now are expired, but I wanted to see if it would go through anyways. I'm going to be using also a standard uh, hollow point, which is a buffalo bore, and then a full metal jacket flat nose, and then the very last one here to your right is going to be the Fort Scott. And I just want to see if they will go through go through this level level two vest and level three A vest. And like I said, they're both expired, but I just wanted to test them out anyways. And if they do go through, I got another vest over here that uh it's a little heavier Kevlar, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens there. So let's get started. First step is the Fort Scott. Followed by the full metal jacket, followed by the hollow point. Okay, this is level 3A, Fort Scott first, followed by full metal jacket, followed by the hollow point. This is the level 3A uh, Kevlar, Fort Scott, followed by uh, full metal jacket, followed by Hollow point. All right, so this is another round with the uh, Fort Scott ammo only. I couldn't tell if it went through or not, so I put a white piece of paper on the back of it, and we're gonna give it another shot. Oops, help if I chamber it around. So this next test is going to be with this hard trauma plate here and uh, a level 3A uh, vest that we already shot once. But I'm going to shoot it on the opposite side that's still good with these plates. Okay, this is the uh, Fort Scott ammo only versus the trauma plate. I still have the same piece of paper in the back of it, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, everybody, if you're still with me, I know you want to see the results. I apologize for not doing this at the range, but the bugs out there were just ridiculous, and I couldn't handle it. So I brought them back to the uh, shop, and we're going to take a look at each one of the vests, starting with the level 2 uh, vest right here. We have our three shots, one, two, three. All right, and on the back side, we did have a penetration from the Fort Scott. And I fill the other two in there and I'm going to pull those out or try to get those out in uh, a little bit later. But Fort Scott did in fact penetrate the level 2A body armor. And I had a white piece of paper behind this one as well. I, that one got blown off after I shot the third ones. Um, we have the level 3A with one, two, three shots here. And on the back side, let's see. It's hard to tell, but this is just ripped. That's ripped. That's ripped there. So let me see if I can tear this paper or this netting off and get a good look at it. All right. So right here, I feel one of the bullets there. I feel another bullet there. And this right here is where the Fort Scott went through, and it came all the way through. That's where this little tiny hole was. So... Again, it also defeated the level 3A body armor as well. It's definitely, definitely not in there. I can tell you that much right now. And I'll pull the other two out um, of this one as well here shortly. Uh, the level 3A Kevlar vest, I actually found one of the bullets at the bottom of it. I believe that was the hollow point. And the other one I located, it was down here. We had a shot right here because I shot this one four times. So we had uh, one shot, two shot, three shots, and four. And the reason I shot it was four, like I said, I couldn't figure out where the other round had went. So I shot it four times. Um, I feel the bullet wedged in over here. And I don't feel anything there on that one or that. But that would explain why we have that one there because one of them fell out. And let's look at the back of it. So on the back, we have a small exit hole right there, 
and I know that's an exit hole because I had a white piece of paper on the back of it and I saw it as well as this one right here and the reason why I couldn't find that one because it's blended in so well but it did in fact go through this one right here is just a tear and in fact where's my knife I will cut that one open as well if I can find my knife here I lost my knife yeah, there it is all right let's cut this one up real quick all right so right here you got the exit from the uh, Fort Scott there and you have the other exit right here from the Fort Scott as well and I apologize about this video being so so unorganized like I said the bugs out there were ridiculous I had it I had it set up to where I was going to do a really really good video for you all but anywho uh, last but not least we have the trauma plate which I only shot once with the Fort Scott ammo and it looks like I hit right there which is directly on the plate itself and I have not moved removed this one yet so we're gonna see what it's like oh wait let's look at the back of it first all right so back of it on the netting don't feel anything can't see anything let's take a quick look at the Kevlar all right so there's nothing nothing there We've got a bulge right here really nice bulge but uh, outside of that there's no exit wounds or exit from the bullet should I say so let's take a look at the plate all right wow that's a big hole holy crap well I can tell you this much I can't tell if it's in there <laughs> no it's not in there you can actually see my finger through it and let's see yeah so you can see my finger moving on the back side of there so it, it came all the way through that uh, trauma plate there and oh right out of this little little I guess that's uh, some more Kevlar just really really thin I don't know it's hard to say but uh, yeah, it came straight through without, without any problems there. Let's see what, if I can find it in the vest. Um, I'm going to pause you guys real quick and uh, pull the vest out. Alright, so after pulling the vest out and getting a look at it, here's the hole. It went right through there, but again, it did not come through. So it's I still I feel it. Yep, it's in there. Alright, so let me see if I can pull all these bullets out, and uh, I'll be back with you here shortly. Alright, we're back. Finally got the bullets out. I don't know which one is which, but this one is from the level 2 uh, vest. And you have your one of your hollow points, and one of them is your full metal jacket. Again, I don't know which one's which. They look so much alike. I'm assuming that the one on the left is your hollow point just because it doesn't have jacket around the front of it and then we go to the level 3a and again I think this one the one on the right is your hollow point the one on the left is your full metal jacket but uh, yeah they got pretty pretty mangled it's pretty pretty cool the way they came out I'm liking it and again with the level 2 one you see how they mangled coming up there then on our level 3A uh, Kevlar one, and I believe that one may be your hollow point, and this one may be your full metal jacket. This one was a bit of a plane to get out, but uh, I, don't, I don't really know which one this one is either. Got fragments on that one. That one took some surgery to get out. <laughs> and then we have the one versus our hard plates here, and this is the Fort Scott bullet after some long hard digging to get it out but that's what it looks like and it did not make it through the vest but it got more than halfway through it when I was digging it out so it went pretty pretty far and it was luckily for that trauma plate that uh, that uh, 
and it probably slowed it down and stopped it. But yeah, these are the results. And thank you for watching. Again, these are expired vests, so they could be compromised. But considering the results, I've, I've shot a lot of expired vests before, and they stop pretty much everything I've ever put through them, with the exception of rifle. So again, this was just an educational video. And it's not to say this stuff would do this 100% of the time, all the time. I just wanted to see what would happen, and I'm sure you did too. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Take care.